Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. We have an exciting topic to discuss today that can make your scheduling and managing your appointments a breach. We will be delving into the world of Microsoft Booking, a powerful tool that can streamline your appointment system. If you are a business owner, a professional, or someone who is looking for more organized way to manage your appointments, then you are at the right place. Before we dive into the details, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also ring the bell notification so you will never miss out any informative tech tutorial. Before I start, let me introduce myself. My name is Sandeep Misra, a technical expert who is helping businesses to automate their business process with the help of AI. So let's get started. So now we will see how you can create your appointment system using Microsoft bookings. So let me share my screen. And here you can see outlook.office.com. There you will type bookings. For example, here you will type bookings. And it will take you on the bookings home page. There you can see all your bookings which you created in your organization. So, for example, if I want to create a booking, I will either use the clone feature from here. If I want to uh, clone this booking, I will just clone it. I will go here and clone. Otherwise, I will click on create. And here you can see again, you can clone any of these and or, or you can just click on create from scratch. So I'm going to create from scratch and I will use demo installation service. So now you can add your logo here. So I'm going to select my logo and that is the folder. I will go and select. So this is how you can select your company logo. You can increase or decrease size, add logo, and then you will click on, uh, you can select the business type. So I'm going to select IT support in your case, like you are from recruitment or healthcare or education or financial services or sales, you can select based on that. Otherwise, you can select other and put your business type. So I will select IT support and then you can also change the hours. For example, it's Monday to Friday. In your case that you want, no, I am just giving installation service Monday, Monday, not on Tuesday and then Monday and Friday. So this is how you can select if you want just on Monday. If you want all weekdays, you will select kind of this. So for example, I'm going to select Monday, Tuesday. We will have off on Wednesday. Then we'll have th Thursday and Friday, for example, in weekends as well. And then we'll have the, the blank days, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So that's, that is how you can customize on which day you want to give that support. Click on next. And here you can select your staff. For example, like I have multiple staff, so I will search from here. Like, so you can select from your employee list. Whoever you want should be should uh, can give that support. You can select from here. So I'm going to add one or two staff here. So that is how you can add. And then we'll click on next. Also, you want to change the timing. For example, is it 30 minutes or what? That is what you can select from here. Like if you want that, no. Installation work will take around two hours. So you will select hour from here. And then you will also select the timing. It will start at 9 a.m. and end at 5 p.m. That is what you can do. If this is online or offline, that is what you can select and select from here. So installation service in IT, we are going to do online. So I'm going to select it and update service. So now you will click on next. And here you have self-service. So schedule, uh, schedule appointments only from booking page. It means that people can come on your booking page and book appointments. The other one is public in your organization. In this case, like if you want to create a booking page, within your organization so people 
from your organization can come and book appointment with someone else for example they can book appointment with hr like employee employees can come and book appointment with hr that is what you can create an internal appointment system but in our case we are going to create appointment system for public and in that case we will, we will select anyone who can book with a public self service page so i will select this and click on next it will take few seconds and after that our page will be ready so now it's ready and this is the admin page admin page where you can see all the bookings you can go the first one is calendar here we have drop down so all bookings you can see from here and now we are set, we selected demo installation service which we just created and after that you, you can say you can see calendar so under calendar you can see like you can go like days next next day like previous day that is how you can see it you can also book a new appointment from here like if you are getting call from anyone and your uh, your staff is going to book the booking in that case you can use this page so you will select like you will book an appointment for example for tomorrow 6 to 8 customer name you can also give the customer name and then you will select the staff so that is how you can select from here let me discard the change and you can also add time up for example like holidays like government holidays or any public holidays that is what you can add from here and then like if you want to add holiday for a particular staff you can also add uh off, half an off for a particular staff for example your staff is going for a leave for one week or for two days or three days so that is what you can add here so if that day someone is going to book an appointment they will not find that employee for example i'm going to uh, add off for a week for alok so i will add so i added time off so in that week if the any customer is coming and going to book appointment uh, they can't see allo for booking so here you will have like day by staff so you can see a particular booking for a staff you can just see a, a day you can see by week you can also see by month so that is how you can see and you can see day off for allo then you can export it after that we have booking page here you can see all your details for example booking page then you can get the embed code so you can embed this you can add this code on your public page on your website on your social media site that is what you can add and they can use this page for booking you can also see iframe code is here so these code will help you to create a booking page on your public website on your social media site then we have business page control so here you can disable direct search engine indexing of booking page so that is what you can do require a one-time password to create a booking if you want that booking uh, will be only created uh, with a password that is uh, you can check it so that's not required in case of public booking customer data uses like show personal data collection and uses consent toggle along the message on the booking page so that's not required just leave it and after that you can see like time increment 30 minutes the show available time in increments of 30 minutes like the on booking page you can see the 30, min 30 minutes 30 minutes slots so i'm going to change it like a two hours like that is what we have and then minimum lead time minimum lead time per booking page cancellation like 24 hours they can cancel maximum lead time 365 days they can book only till 365 days so that is what you can yeah bookable when staff are free like if staff is free then only they can book that is what you can select from here then we have customize your page so there you can change color according to your your brand like you want that my color is this so you will select like this then set the color or booking page you can also use custom color and 
you will also add the logo on your page if you uncheck you can't see logo there if you check you can see on top of your page you will see logo so let me select a color and then so after that we have language we can select the language you can also select the hindi english whatever language you want you can select from here that's the very handy thing for example if you are creating a booking page for your local service and in that case you can't always use the language so you can select a local language from here for example i i can select hindi as well and then after that you can save all this please make custom color so we don't need custom color i will hide it and then we can save so once i will save you can you can't see logo there because like you can see here so again i will go back and i will check it and then i will save so now you can see everything is colored according to the brand so now after that we have customers all your bookings you can see here you can also add a customer from here then staff we already added three staffs that is what you can see here then service we have only one service but you can also create multiple services you go on create new service and add like support demo support then you can add description location as well and you can also set the price hourly so hourly price you can select from here call us so that kind of like you can fix price either you can have the starting ad you can have the hourly so let's just take hourly and we'll take here for example 10 and maximum number of attendees that is what you can set and then you will save it so now i will go on page and i can see two services should be there so now you can see this is paid and this is free so that is what you can set as well then we have the business information you can change your logo business hours that is what we did like day off so you can just add if you want like no i i'm going to provide service on tuesday as well so you can change from here business logo you can change business details you can change like whatever you will add here title and all like installation i just want to remove from here so i will save and then you can see you go here and now you can refresh so you can see that is hot installation service so everything you can change from here so now we will have the demo and save it so again you can see that so that's the good point and after that we will again go on this page and we'll try to book the service i will use a free one then i will select uh, a staff and they let's try for our look because we have the day up so you can see like we don't have we can book on 29th or 30 but we can't book in next week but if i will go for a new i can select even i will i can't select these date because that is what we have added as a uh, off so i will select 27 28 like that for all of i can't select all those uh, like i added holidays for that like for one one week so i can't select that so i will go on up and select a time i will add my personal information here for example like i will have email address same and i will book it so once you will book you will go on your booking page so from here you can uh, reschedule you can cancel booking you can add new booking as well as you will go on booking page on customer page and there you can see a booking so you can see your customer list also you can see a booking here so that is how you can see you can see in calendar you can see the customer list here in uh, customers and on the personal email like i'm going on personal email so there you can see a booking detail as well like confirm it support so that is what i booked for myself so you can see like the the was the email address is was sandeep that is 
what I used. So let me go like this. You can see here. So it's coming to the version D from, from my official ID. So this is how you can create a booking page and book a appointment and you can access using your Microsoft Outlook office.com slash booking slash homepage. Everything you can see there, all your bookings. You can also change from here. See your calendar, see your bookings, see your customers, staff, services, and business information. Hope this will help and this will uh, make you handy where you can just go and create a booking page. Uh, that is a public, it's totally free if you are using Outlook and set up your staff, set paid services as well. And you can see, uh, you can add time off for your employee, you can add time off for your organizations as well. It's quite handy. Go and create appointment, free appointment system for your business. There you have it friends. Microsoft Booking is a fantastic tool that can revolutionize the way you manage appointments. From starting from setting up your booking page to effectively manage your appointments and offering online booking it's a comprehensive solution for businesses of all size if you found this video helpful and informative please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing my channel by doing so you will stay up to date with tech tutorial and tips that will help you to streamline your business and increase productivity. Thank you for tuning in today. See you next video. Until then, keep learning, keep innovating and keep scheduling those appointments with ease.